Okay, guys, welcome to episode one of the birth... What? Welcome to episode one of the Versus series, and today I'm going to be comparing Nature Ring Crafting via the Abyss and Law Ring Crafting via the Balloon Method, uh, Kelsa was. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is comparing the GP made per hour as well as the Ring Crafting XP made per hour. And how this is going to work is I'm going to do each method for 15 minutes and multiply my findings by four. And uh, that should give us a good, accurate representation of the overall money per hour, as well as EXP. Now, a few disclaimers and a few rules I need to just put out right before we start, is that I'm not going to, for, for records, like I'm not trying to do these as fast as possible. I'm trying to do runs that are kind of easily doable, because I see a lot of people say like, this X method gets you 600k an hour. Sure it does, if you're a fucking robot. But most of us require hands and stuff uh, to control our characters, so I'm going to be doing these runs as if uh, you're a normal human being and you don't have the ability to do things at a very uh, quick extended pace. And there's going to be things like fuck-ups in the runs, like I didn't drink my energy potion this run, and uh, things like that just to keep you on your toes. And I took a mind rune instead of a lore rune. What do you know? But yeah, that's how it's going to work, and I made sure to incorporate at least one abyss charge every single uh, 15 minutes, so in my findings for law runes, I will go to the abyss and charge a pouch once, and the exact same rules apply for the nature rune crafting. And I'm going to be using four pouches instead of three, uh, just to give a, I don't know, a standard kind of... I, I need a, a level playing field, and if I'm doing three pouches, it's kind of a bit confusing, because I would probably have to recharge my pouches a little bit more often uh, due to the faster runs. But if you guys want to submit your own ideas for the Versus series, feel free. And I'm actually considering doing uh, three versus four pouches just to get an idea on which one is actually quicker. But if you guys would like to see that, let me know. But uh, that stuff's in the future. Let's uh, focus on what we've got ahead of us. It's time now to test nature runes versus law runes. Okay, so straight into nature runes at the abyss. Now, I was kind of hoping that nature runes were going to be a lot better than law runes um, going into this because I, I've spent a lot of time doing nature runes in the past and uh, I did make them to 99 on my previous pre-EOC account, I guess you'd call it. And uh, I actually thought nature runes were going to be better XP. But uh, as my results found, it's not exactly necessarily the case in uh, in a few different factors. But um, there's a few costs that I would associate with making nature runes and uh, these are the ones that I considered. And that is lobsters, pure essence, and energy potions. Now, anything else like glory teleports and uh, or house teleports, if you're using that, I did. I just discounted them because I know some people will be able to charge their own glories, and uh, that will be a null factor into, you know, figuring out how much money you're losing per hour uh, to pay for resources. So anyway, with that in mind, I'm going to be giving you guys the total results over an hour, which is my which is my results multiplied by four. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is that my final run for the Abyss, I got about halfway through before the 15 minute clock just buzzed out. So keep that in mind. I cut the XP, I didn't include the XP from that run. Uh, just I wanted to make it as accurate as possible. And uh, just keep in mind, I could like you could potentially get uh, a couple more runs per hour out of, uh, out of a little bit more efficient. Uh, ring crafting, but as I said, I'm not trying to set records. I'm not trying to signal make this shit I'm just trying to make some money and uh, give you guys some results So in one hour my results are as follows XP gained per hour doing this is 20,304 XP and I'm gonna give you an approximate guess if someone was like yo, what is um, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that is so corny. What is the XP made per hour? Uh, ring crafting via the abyss with four patches. I'm gonna say 20 to 25 K and uh, if you're faster than 25k, I don't know what to say to you, good sir. But anyway, with that in mind, that's not too bad. That's not too bad experience. Uh, but the resources that I consumed during the process was 28 lobsters, 2,256 pure essence, and 20 energy potions. So how I calculated my findings is that I took the price of nature runes, which I'm going to assume are 230 each. Keep in mind, they might be different to when you watch this video, so just use your own math, figure it out, and uh, just figure out the difference between Pures and uh, Nature's, and you will, be, you will be able to give yourself updated figures. So, how I judged it is that each Nature rune is worth 150 coins to me, because that is the sum of 230 minus the 80 GP I paid for Pure Essence. Again, could be different. 
Anyway, so with that in mind, uh, from the 2,256 natures that I crafted, that netted me a total revenue of 338,400 GP. Pretty good. But uh, keeping in mind that we spent uh, 55.6k on resources uh, in terms of like energy pots and stuff like that, um, our total profit made in one hour for nature runes was 282,000. 800 GP, 282k, bleh, 282k in an hour, not too shabby. So I'm going to assume approximate money made per hour is 250k to 300k in an hour, which is fantastic. If you compare that to fucking killing chickens, you're doing pretty good. So anyway, in total, the summary, nature runes in one hour with my findings is that the XP is between 20,000 to 25,000. And the money made is 250000 to 300k in one hour. So anyway, with that in mind, I think it's about time that uh, we progressed onwards to the law runes. And uh, anyway, moving on. Right, so it's time to crack open the law rune crafting stats. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys want to see tips, well, my personal tips when I do these. But I'm going to give you one for today. And uh, if you're using three patches, make sure you drop your vial and empty your pouches so that make that makes sure that you get all the essence out of your pouches as opposed to sometimes you in your whole inventory will be filled and you might have one or two left but anyway seeing that i'm using four pouches for this test that's not exactly applicable and uh a, a good tip submitted by somebody i was runecrafting with i can't remember your name i think your name was like risking but instead of an i it was a z uh whatever your name was you know who you are and i i do value your advice because i'm using it right now and uh, that is, instead of using super energy potions, the potions that I use for this test, um, I just teleport to fucking Karamja. This has literally never happened before. Alright, so basically what you want to do is just use regular energy potions as opposed to super energy. It's just a lot more... Just look at the Zybers prices. It's like, you can get three of these for the price of one super energy stat, like, uh... Kind of, it's kind of the standard rule of the pricing, so very much more efficient to go with these potions as opposed to the others. But moving on to the actual statistics. Okay, so in one hour crafting law runes, we used around 60, 60k in super energy potions. And uh, if I was to assume that I used regular energies, I'd just cut that in half, uh, just to be just to be safe. And uh, we used about 12k in terms of dueling rings and logs. So for a grand total of 72k of expenses, um, it's now time to subtract that from the total that we made. So in one hour, we crafted 2,292 law runes, and what that equates to is uh, 504,240 GP in the hour. And if we minus our expenses, so 504k minus 72k is uh, 40, no, 432,240 or just to be safe, 432k profit in one hour. So just let that sink in. 432k monies in the bank in one hour after expenses is pretty damn good. If we compare that to the 250 to 300k or whatever it was for nature's, that's a pretty big upgrade. Uh, so if I was to give you guys an approximation of your money made per hour, crafting law runes via this method, I would give you guys the, 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 uh, the figure of 400k to 450k per hour. Now that's at the prices currently, but I'm even if there was a ring crafting apocalypse and laws went down to 200 and pure essence went up to 100, I mean, you'd still be making probably 200k plus an hour. I haven't exactly figured it out, but it's still ridiculous money made per hour. The only downside of course is that it requires 54 ring crafting, which can be a sting in the dick uh, for somebody who doesn't like ring crafting. And my, me personally, I really like this skill, so I mean, I don't know why it's just fucking hamster in a wheel kind of status but at the same time it's a it's good money per hour and it just it relaxes the soul so anyway what i might do is go into summary and just compare these two side by side so you guys you don't have to just remember what happened throughout the video and we'll just give you some uh, roundabout statistics so if we blur what i'm doing currently on the screen um i'll chuck on some stats for you guys who uh would like to see some overall summaries and uh Basically, in short, law and crafting was was much more effective, and uh, it's going to be what I use to train to 91 groom crafting. And uh, when when I do hit that 91 threshold, if I hit that 91, um, I'm going to be switching to natures. But until then, law runes are going to be my bread and butter, and up until that point. And I really suggest you guys follow into into suit. Now, the reason why I didn't use uh, 
a small, medium, and large pouch as opposed to giant and uh, whatever. Um, is because I feel like the majority of the time you spend getting 91 runecrafting is spent from 75 to 91 as opposed to, what is it, 50 to 75. So that is why I used a giant pouch in my tests and just didn't assume I only had 50 runecrafting. And uh, keep in mind, if you're not 75 runecrafting, your money made per hour will be a little bit lower. But once you hit 75, uh, you'll be making the money that I gave you. Uh, the figures that I gave you into this video. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking, what the fuck, man? You're giving me these figures and they're totally inaccurate. Just keep in mind, once you stick out 75 rune crafting, you'll be able to make those that kind of money. But uh, anyway, guys, that was the first episode of the verse series. And you guys are going to have to let me know if you enjoyed it. And uh, keep in mind, uh, some of my shit could be inaccurate. So just check the comments. There could be something with like 20 thumbs up saying... Mr. Fuckface forgot this, keep that in mind, and uh, if any of you guys can critique what I've done today, and uh, just point out some things that I didn't mention, uh, so there's a little bit misinformation cleared up in the comments, that'd be fantastic. Um, I know you guys are really good for that, so thank you in future if you do spot something uh, that I did that was a minor or a large fuck up. And uh, anyway, I hope these stats of mine were helpful to you, and keep them... Just keep in mind that the, my personal stats and these won't apply to every single person uh, because my clicking patterns and my efficiency is a lot different to others. And uh, yeah, we're not all robots, we're all different. So that's the beauty of this game. And uh, anyway, so I think I might call it a wrap for there. If you guys want to submit your own episode ideas, um, feel free. Now this series isn't going to be created like once a week. It's just going to be created when I have a dip and when I have time to execute uh, the, the testing phase. So. If you want to submit your ideas, I'll be picking ideas from the comment section for the next episode. So uh, even if this if this video is like 10 years old, you can still submit an idea. So anyway, with that in mind, I might call it quits for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got some use out of it. And uh, anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.